Stale Mary. Let's talk to Stale Mary. This musty-smelling female zombie looks exceptionally old, almost mummified. Her skin has the appearance of moldering gray-green leather, and one of her eyes has fallen out, leaving a dark pit in her face. Her voice is slow and thick. G-g-greetings. Greeting, then farewell. Uh, no, we're going to say greetings. She indicates herself and speaks again. Sister Stall Murray? It sounds as if her vocal cords are festering away in some soupy mess at the base of her throat. Stale Mary, I had some questions. How is it that you speak to these other zombies? I cannot understand them as I can you. The corpse takes a step toward you, reaching her arm out to touch you. Okay, we're not going to move. A nearly fleshless hand brushes gently against your form, and she speaks. Lush. How did you do that? She touches you once more. Spoke to the Yakun. But you must do it properly. Okay, speak to us as you can. But you must do it properly. Can you teach me? She says yes. She finishes teaching you the skills required to speak with the dead, a process she calls Stories Bones Tell. Updated my journal. Talk to any dead body. Some others the Oh okay, I'll just read this. Some others too dead must use skill. Next I had other questions. Um Have you seen a bronze sphere anywhere? Why have I been made a prisoner? These seem to be the most interesting questions here. Ha let's start with this one. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere near here? No, sorry. Other questions? Why have I been made a prisoner? She shrugs. Ask Hargrim. Tell me about him. Hargrim's skeleton's leader gives us a word of Silent King, concerned, worried. Why is he concerned? Sogo. Ooh. Cased. Why is he worried about Sogo, and why is he worried about a cased? Yeah, let's start with Sogo. Sogo preaches death. Tell me of someone else. Tell me of a cased. Hungry, angry. Tell me about the Silent King. <laughs> Silent King, what can you tell me about him? Silent King, what do you know of him? Silent King. <laughs> Alright, never mind then. Uh, farewell. Okay, so that was kind of interesting. So now we can talk to dead creatures, it seems. Greetings. Had some questions. And greetings to thee. Ah, okay. This is talking to us. I shall answer what I can. Dust falls from the joints of the skeleton in his jaws as it speaks. Ask what thou will. I have more than enough time to speak with thee. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere? No, but we should speak to Se Hagrim. Okay, tell us about Hagrim. It's he who speaks the Silent King, giving us a Lord's word and Lord's word and law. He is here in the antechamber of the Silent King's throne room. Tell me of the Silent King. Our Lord and Master, he is called the Silent King because he speaks only in times of dire need. Um Ask Hagrim, our high priest of him, he can tell thee more. Who else inhabits this place? This place is a kind of the undead, ruled by a silent king. There are zombies here as well as ghouls. Farther away in the catacombs in the east live cranium rats. On occasion, one of the living, such as thyself or Sogo, ventures down here. Tell us a little bit more about Sogo. Yeah. Missionary, trying to persuade people to do the true death. He can be found wandering in the chapel in the northern reaches of these cold, dusty halls. That is all I wish to know, I think. I'm gone. Well, there was... Oh, skeleton merchant. Let's talk to skeleton merchant. Uh, bouncing from the ball of one foot to another, air whistles from between its teeth. It looks very, very bored. As you approach, its demeanor changes entirely. Welcome, welcome. I've got a host of items for your perusal. Fresh from the latest Burks who've been trying to loot quiet ones. Would you like to see them? Yeah. Show me what you got. 
So, so far I don't really see too much of interest. Hammer of quality, bone dagger? How does that compare to the high quality stiletto, I wonder? It's got speed, it's edged, it's got extra piercing damage, and it's enchanted. Okay, so that might be worth investing in. I'm ignoring anything red because, well, can't use it. Mm. Yeah, I'll just buy a whole bunch of healing items while I'm here. Adder's Tear. Uh, gives the ability to spit forth spiraling bolts of acidic green energy at an opponent. It's kind of tempted, but I don't think I'm going to do that. We've already got a scroll of blood bridge. Scroll of ice knife? Hmm. Dagger's device can be conjured that only only strike their intended target, but can spread cold as ice into the water. Scroll of Elysium's tears. That might also be worth getting. Yeah, I'm going to buy them. I get as many spells as I can. Not that I'm necessarily going to use them, but yeah, you know, it doesn't hurt. And I've got a lot of money. So let's see what I can do here. In terms of selling stuff, I have a feeling Morta carries most of the cool stuff. We can't use the enchanted hammer. Um... So can we use these? Can. It's only usable by mages. I'll hold on to it, because I'm not sure how that works. I have to try it out. Tarnished silver bracelet. Doesn't seem to be enchanted or anything. Yeah. And we'll get rid of these cranium rat tails, because I, I don't know why we even have them, to be honest. Get rid of these dirty rat charms. So let's sell all that. Buy all that. Yeah. Definitely this bone dagger is better than what we've got. Not that. I mean, we're going to be fighting a lot, but... Yeah. Our... <laughs> our uh, uselessness at combat is kind of... What? Yeah, beyond, beyond being tolerable. <laughs> so let's just sell more of our stuff. I don't know what I was going to say, but that sentence just sort of ended weird. So, uh, let's see if we can buy a bit more healing stuff. Blood charm we can buy. Can I buy more, actually? I wonder. Blood charm. Let's just buy a bunch of these. These are the ones that heal. Yeah, 18. Like its younger cousin to clot charm. Hmm. So let's see. It simulates the user's blood into clotting and scabbing over existing wounds. Healing damage the user may have suffered before consuming charm. However, while the healing effect is more powerful than a clot charm, it has no other lasting effects. We know that. Okay, so we'll just buy a bunch of those, and I think that's okay. How many have we got? Ten? Get two more. Because we seem to use them. Probably time to let more to do more of the heavy fighting, I think. Alright, uh, let's leave this skeleton alone. I'm going to try to find that nameless zombie again. I think. So ghouls. Let's try talking to a ghoul. This female ghoul reeks of blood and carrion. Uh, beetles and worms crawl through her long, stringy hair, which she sweeps from her yellow eyes with cruel-looking talons. Her flesh has turned into sickly green colors covered with rotten weeping sores. I don't know if you want to be talking to that thing. So that's Morta. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised, Morta. It's undead. It's female. That's all it usually takes for you. It's not quite the same thing, chief. We were once humans, 
They or their ancestors feasted on corpses, and this is what they've become. Pretty nasty stuff, Chief. But they're little more than animals, really. Dangerous animals. Alright, then let's, uh, let's go. Well, I, I meant to go. Done. Okay. So, yeah, a nameless zombie. Greetings? Let's try this again. Only your skills in conversing the dead allow you to understand her. Name? My name? Hmm. No, is that why you're so distressed? Forgot my name. My name. Her milky eyes well with a black, uh, roomy substance. Corpses only tears. Why is it so important to you? Well, actually, I don't think we need to ask that. We kind of understand. She holds up her decaying hands for you to examine. As you do so, a fingernail drops off, hitting the tiles with a soft click. Rotting away, soon nothing left, nothing but bones and a name. Can I help you find your name, then? Corpse nods slowly. My tomb, she points southward. Watery catacombs. How will I know it? My journal. Chest, spiked chest, bolted down near my tomb. Great. I'll go find it, then. Or perhaps we'll seek it out. We won't make any promises. We'll seek it out. What was that sound? I'm gone. I'm gone. Right, so I thought Hargrim was back this way. We could ask him about this um, bronze sphere. Done. Yeah, come back here. Hargrim acknowledges your pre presence by nodding quietly in your direction. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere here? He shakes his head. I've seen no such thing. Why dost thou seek this object? For a man named Farid. The skeleton draws back. It looks up and away, as if peering at the surface. Blood spill beats in the black worm-ridden heart. That wheezing sack of flesh still sends his pack into our home's rain pillage. He faces you once more. That were wrong to come here. We tolerate no such desecrators within our borders. But I'm not of his pack. I think we'll try to make that clear. Why, then, are you here, invading our homes on a fetch and carry for that miserable soul? Uh, there's no... Yeah, okay. I'm finding the sphere for him in return for information I need. There's no other loyalty between us. It looks at you, tapping its chin with a bony finger. Click, click, click. That do not seem to sort to follow such a man. Perhaps you speak the truth. Perhaps your presence here is tolerable. Good. Farewell. Yeah, I'm gone. probably would have been a bit smarter to not mention Farid's name at all. Um, I'm gone. actually, but I guess the nameless one had a momentary lapse in judgment, or maybe he realized that wouldn't be smart to say, you know, or wise to I'm say gone. Farid's name. But we already know that he's not too good at following his own wisdom, so maybe, maybe that's fine. What's this place? Actually, I'll just quick save. I'm not going to save over anything yet. I'm gone. There's some royal guards. This massive skeleton, far larger than an ordinary human, wears ornate bronze armor engraved with elaborate symbols. Greetings. Greetings, living. The thing's voice booms. I stand here as a royal guard for his lord and majesty, the silent king. I must ask that you do not distract me from my task with questions. Alright. Could you at least tell me who you are or were? I'm in death as I was in life. One of the 99 sons of the western mountains fathered when the member of Amahar was severed and cast down upon the face of the Ithir. Honor bound to defend our queen, we were lost to this world when ours and our lady with it was destroyed by an angry godling, a brother to Amahar. Many of our number roam the plains, but some like myself chose to remain in Sigil. When I passed away, I was interred here, and later awoke in the state you find me in now. I then chose a new master, the Silent King, to defend. I see. Farewell. Probably both the same. I don't think we're going to get into any fights here. 
At least there's no reason to get into any fights. Doesn't seem to be too much in this area. Okay, there's some skeletons. Yeah. There must be a peaceful solution to this. 